Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today, I wanted to bring you guys into my wardrobe again and show you guys my bag collection. Now, I do not have tons of bags. It's a decent amount. <clears throat> but I think they're all very pretty affordable. Um... And it's not over the top. These are bags that I wear all the time. I've had a lot of them for a really, really long time. And I love them. So I'll probably do a luxury wish list for you guys. Um, because I am gearing towards more structured bags. Opposed to how it was before. I still love leather regardless of the name of the bag. I just like leather bags. So I'm going to jump right into it. And I hope this piece doesn't get in the way. And let's start with my all-time favorite. <laughs> this bag I had for, I'm 40, am I 42? I'm 42. And I, someone, this, a guy purchased this bag for me when I was, oh, was I 20 or 19? And this is the Louis Vuitton checkered Damien bag. Okay, so this bag is tore up. It's ridiculous. It's so bad. This became my laundry bag at one point. Okay, and I used to take this everywhere. Like, it's so beat up. I've saw, I've seen people get their bag, like, redone. I'm just like, it's over. Let me tell you, this bag is so old that when that guy purchased this for me, this bag was $650, guys. You guys know Louis Vuitton goes up, I believe, $50 a year or something like that. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it was back in the day. But it's so old. So this is my first... Was this my first luxury bag? No. This was the second bag that I got. I'll show you, <laughs> I'll show you guys the first bag. So this is the second luxury handbag that someone purchased for me um, and I had it since it was $650 my first luxury handbag oh my god is this old Gucci bag guys when I mean oh I mean like so old this do you guys remember this bag oh my gosh like it's so beat up too but this was I wore this to the ground to work guys <laughs> like the bottom of stuff is actually still good. It has like a little bit of things. I need to put this on Poshmark, to be honest with you. Um, but I still actually think this is cute. But I wore this bag to the freaking ground. You guys probably see like a little, some lines in here because I'm in my closet. And sometimes this chandelier gives it like a funny glare. So that is the first bag. I ever purchased with my own money um, and then the second one was what the guy purchased for me um, so let's just get that stuff out the way that's that's the that's the I guess the oldies but goodies right I have a Marc Jacob let me close this for you guys I'm gonna go through my clutches first yeah let's go through the clutches so I have a Marc Jacob bag here, and this is so cute. I don't know if you guys can actually see it because it's so bright. I purchased this from Saks, I believe. And the reason why I like this is the colors. Like, it's not like, I hope it's not too bright. It's not like, it's just a cute little clutch. But I always wear it when I wear things that I don't really have a bag to go with because it has like different colors in it so like something like this I would just throw it on because it has like a piece of yellow in it nothing too much but enough to wear you're like okay so I do need a white bag and I think I'm gonna get the um Monster Gabriel bag in white which brings me to that particular bag <laughs> which it's this one so they have it in white which I, I still really love. This bag is lambskin. The bag is gorgeous, guys. I'm sorry. Everybody was buying a Bottega bag. I wasn't doing it. Um, this is a really, really nice bag. I like it a lot. Um, people are like, oh, I'd rather get the Bottega. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, so 
also happen to like this part of the bag. I think it's a really, really nice bag. Um, and to be honest, I'm probably going to get two more because <laughs> I, I really like it. It's, it's beautiful. Inside is also lambskin. So I think that's a step up from a lot of the luxury bags out there. And these are very, 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 very affordable. So you'll probably see me do a video with the black one and the white one. They have red. I like red also. But the red is too small for me in my frame. Um, Because you guys know I'm six feet tall. Okay. So then I have two YSL clutches. And I believe I told you guys a story about these before. And those of you who are new, these clutches are old YSL. And I was looking for a clutch that didn't have any real color in the hardware. So I went to the outlets in Fort Lauderdale. And um, I was actually in Orlando first. And I wanted to go to... What is the name? David Yearman. <laughs> Just to kind of see. So I drove over to Fort Lauderdale from Orlando. And I saw these bags in the morning on Google. Found someone on YouTube, because that's what we do, right? And I'm like, oh, this bag is discontinued. I go into the outlet and put out, put out in my face. So these are, this is not like a, this is not the same taupe color as the other one this has more of a peanut butter color um so it's a little different from the other one and then i just got a plain black one so simple right and these are realistic sizes for me um inside is also i don't know if you guys can see realistic your cell phone and stuff like makeup can fit in here um i'm not gonna buy something that's too small that i can't fit my basic essentials in it okay that's to me is a waste of money okay I know people like that this is Jack Wolf bag it's really really tiny um I'll be honest with you and this may sound crazy to some <laughs> but I don't like when I see really tall women with tiny tiny bags I don't care if you're petite tall <laughs> If you're plus, I just, I don't, I just don't think it looks good. This is not considered a purse, but I do know a lot of the ladies wear them as bags. I did it one time, but I actually didn't like it as a bag. I don't know. I just didn't. So I'm probably going to get like a smaller thing, a smaller pouch and use it as my makeup stuff. Um, it's made for makeup because the inside is leather. So for those of you ladies using it as a purse, some people hate it and some people love it. So I'm probably just gonna like, and this is sold out for like forever. So this is the Louis Vuitton. And let's see, another clutch would be this one. You guys have seen this one. I love this bag. So let me tell you, I saw this bag. I told a friend of mine and she was like, oh my God, I want this bag. I'm like, it's so cute, it's a really good size. Like I think it's cute. And I was trying to stay away from logos but I just think the colors on this bag are perfect together. Um, what I really love about this bag is the green and red stitching in the middle. I've always liked that. The belts, I like the belts. Um, they do have a bigger bag, which I did not like. I just wanted this one. And these were sold out. And she so happened to go to the mall in New York, I believe. And they had them. So she bought it for me. So this one, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find... They may not have this, but I'm going to see if I can find it. I know the YSL is a no. I can link. You guys know where you get the Gucci, the Louis Vuitton one. Um, the Mansour Garviel, I can link that one. I can try to link this one if they have it. If not, um, I did do another video on it. So, then let's get to some of my, I'm going to get to, oh, let's get to this one here. And this, this is the infamous coach bag, guys. Okay, listen. I was going crazy for this bag. And the reason why, I can't even show you guys, because I'm in my closet and the way this freaking camera is set up. The reason why I really love this bag is because it's the old um, coach bucket bag. Now, what is different is the inside. 
the inside of the old original ones if you find them on like Poshmark or like the, uh, like another website they're gonna be suede on the inside they're not suede on the inside anymore I wish they would have done that um because I definitely would have bought four colors <laughs> um but I love this bag it's so cute right they came out with another bucket but it was different so when I saw this one I was like oh yeah this is the bag that I've been wanting um it's really pretty so if you guys are still looking at coach they're trying to make a comeback guys okay so then we have let's put that back and these shelves these are the billy bookshelves and i have my shoes in the other one other two um i'm probably gonna add you guys don't know but i had a vanity in here and i took it completely out of here so i'm probably gonna add an additional shelving either i'm gonna move that down or add in the smaller pack system i'm not too sure yet so okay that's another bag that i have on poshmark um this is what i'm gonna do oh this bag is a friend of mine she has a handbag line out and you guys i did a video on this this bag is gorgeous gorgeous gorgous gorgeous um tortoiseshell handles it's a really well made nice bag tina cole guys it's a pretty pretty color i love it um this is a color that is my within my color palette also so i love teal i have a pretty pair of teal boots down there that i haven't worn in years but they're still very very cute um so that's the tina cole bag so let's grab my other favorite bag this let's close this so we can get the good, good full view so this is my gucci bag this oh my god so the reason why i love this bag guys is because of the structure i'm moving over to structure bag so i like it hence is why you see like the clutches are very structured the only thing that's not structured is the monster gabrielle bag which I don't mind, um, and then some of my older bags, but I'll show you those. So, but this is the Coach, the Coach, Gucci. And this is like a trunk bag, right? Very pretty. It's a pretty red color. It's not too bright red. Um, it's not too bright, but definitely really pretty. And of course it comes with a key, just like it's supposed to. Let's close that okay so that's that bag and <laughs> now let's get to some of the stuff that i wear this a lot this bag uh, let's close that this is my versace quilted bag with a chain super simple guys i am wanting three chanel bags and then i'll be good <laughs> like that's all i want but i'm gonna be cautious buying those because i feel like the price has gone up a lot and i don't even know if it's really worth it i don't know I i'm just I'm, I'm a little skeptical about it so i still have to be realistic to me and what i would actually spend on a bag um okay so this is a it's actually it's a bunch of crap in here but it's actually a really nice bag i like it a lot very discreet small logo um very simple nothing over the top and i got this from oh i got this from florida too yeah i got that from florida okay and let me show you guys old gucci i would never get rid of this bag and I had this for forever. This Gucci bag. Can you guys see it? It's a beautiful orange color. Um, some people will wear it on one strap, but it, I don't know. I feel like it'll move, but I like it on both straps. Cute little bag. Um, the GGs are engraved in it. It's okay for me. Not too much logo. I could always turn to this side if I don't want to show it. But it's a pretty orange color. Still for the summer. Yeah. And this is the, this is a part of the Soho collection. So, 
<sighs> now that we're talking about the Soho collection, I'm gonna show you my other two Soho bags. <laughs> Cause I really like this line when they came out with it. Um, <clears throat> I think it's very classy. Cause it's not much, it's not much um, like logos and stuff on it. So, and this is the extension piece up here. I can't show you guys, but. So here's another bag that I got that is a part of the Soho collection. These are so old, but let me tell you something. I be wearing these bags. I listen. I'ma wear my stuff. I don't care. So this bag, love it. Long enough to go over me this way and not be in like an awkward. I can't even <laughs> show you guys. And not in an awkward place. Now you guys know, as tall women, we can't buy all bags with straps because it does not fall on us properly. And I cannot tell you enough that I hate to see when a tall woman who has on a tiny bag across her, it just does not look right. And I know it's very, very uncomfortable. Um, but this is my my other Soho. I think it's called the Soho. It's a Soho collection, but I totally forgot the name of it. It's really old too, but I still wear it. And it's in really, really good condition, guys. I take care of my stuff. Um, I take care of all of my, my bags. I don't care how old it is. Cause I did spend my money on it, right? So that's that one. And then I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> the last Soho bag. This is the one that I wore to the ground, okay? This Soho one. This one has the GGs over there. Um, very simple, same tassel. I don't know, I just think this was a really nice line that they came out with. The leather was really nice and grainy. Um, it's just, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> That's my thumbnail. I like it a lot. I haven't worn it in a while. Now, if this was more of a structured bag, it would be even better. So, I'm, I haven't worn it in a while, but I'm wondering if I could do something to it to bring me a little bit of structure. But it's such, you know, real leather bags are very hard to come by, um, especially in 2022. Okay, guys? But that's it. Those, That's my little bag collection. Uh, let me see what else. Those are just like other clutches that are like nothing big. Um, that's it, guys. That's my handbag collection. Realistic, <laughs> realistic handbag collection. Um, for you guys who like to buy bags, I would say this. Um, the pre-love market, I've never shopped on there, but it's something that I'm considering because I'm seeing that women are getting really nice bags in great, great condition. Um, if it's close to the price of a store, I'm just gonna go to the store, but if it's a steal, I'm gonna try that, but I haven't done it yet, so it's something that I'm thinking about trying, um, cause I am a little spoiled where I want everything brand new, but I'm seeing like girls getting really, really good quality from pre-love market, so I may try it out, guys. So if you wanna see more videos, if you, all, if you are also interested in my luxury list, um, comment below, I'll do a video on that. Luxury, but I'm also realistic too, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I like nice things. Certain things I won't budge on. Um, like, with clothes and stuff is because I'm tall. I have no other choice but to buy it. But I'm not just gonna be out there just buying crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Like these sweaters here. These sweaters were like $500. But let me tell you something. These sweaters are off the chain. Like, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna see anybody in these sweaters. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, these are... Alexander Wang sweaters. Really, really nice sweaters. So certain things I will budge on, certain things I just won't budge on. But if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY for my personal and business page and my blog, CocoStylesNYC.com and my styling services, CocoStyleNY.com. Guys, you know I teach corporate professional women how to tackle vertical style challenges utilizing a height of fashion style plan created by me, guys. So go head over to my website and grab your freebie to start building that work wardrobe. And guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.